So welcome to the 12th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use concatenation and to any new programmers that probably sounds like quite a scary word but concatenation is basically when you put two strings together and make one big string out of it. So let's say we've got two variables so the first one is going to be called first and set this to equal to whatever you want so I'm going to put hello my name is Neil Rowe and then on the second one, var second, set this equal to and I and this is JavaScript. Just like that. These could be whatever you want, but just make sure there's a space here because JavaScript won't automatically reformat this to have a space. You need to put the space in manually. So you can either put it in here and not here, or you can do it the way I did it. Just do it either way, it doesn't really matter. So now what we're going to do is uh, document dot write, and what we want to write is both of these together. So it will show the first one with a space, then the second one. So for this, what we have to do is first plus second. And you might be thinking, well, this plus sign here, the way this is formatted, looks very similar to math in JavaScript. And you're right, it is. And I'll show you what happens if you use math later on. So if we run this now, launching Chrome, and you see it says, hello, my name is Neil Rowe, and this is JavaScript. So it all worked. Now what about if we were to set these both to numbers? Well, let's have a look what happens if you set these both to numbers, actually. So if I set these both to numbers, let's say the first one is 50, and the second one is 100. If we save this, and run it, launching Chrome. It says it's actually given us 150 because JavaScript is detected to do the maths. But uh, let's say one of these is a string, so like that, because you can put numbers in strings, you just won't be able to do any math functions with it. Launching Chrome, and you see it's literally put them both as if they were strings. So if one of them is a string, then it'll pass all of them as a string. So what about if uh, they're both strings? Launching Chrome, and it's done the exact same thing. Um, so you can kind of see where this might be useful. Uh, if you're doing like phone numbers, you might have uh, what do you call them? Like your country code in front of it. So you might have like uh, plus four four. Here's an, it, here, uh, it's four four in the UK here. And then you might have like the phone number here or something like that. So that's what where this might be useful. Um, that's pretty much the only case where I can think of it being useful. But that is concatenation and that's how to stop it mixing up with math. Now I'm not actually sure if there's any way to kinda let's say these were both numbers and we wanted to put them as separate numbers. I don't think there is a way for that. But if there is, put it down in the comments below and everyone will thumbs up and everything. So yeah, so thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.